Welcome to Mr. R's Number Thief Math Stories. Stories about a little dude who used to come to my home and school and steal my numbers. And they're true, too. This one tells of the time the number thief visited my home while I was taking a bath and my parents were shopping at the mall. Get ready to put your best effort into the three math challenges at the end of each short chapter. This story focuses on the three's multiplication facts and much, much more. Remember to put in your best effort and here we go. <laughs> chapter one. I was taking a shower or was it a bath? Thinking of nothing? Nope, I was thinking of math. Bubbles were floating? No, they were sinking. My eyes were wide open? No, I think I was blinking. As I lay in the tub, I thought of math troubles. As I relaxed in the tub, I blew some bath bubbles. But these were strange bubbles inside them, you see, were math statements like this one. Three times one equals three. I looked at the bubbles with gawks and a gaze. Thoughts ran through my mind like mice run in a maze. Math questions and bubbles seemed kind of odd. Like the time I met up with three lemons named Todd. And now it's time for some math challenges. Each one's a little more challenging than the one before it. At least I think so. So put in your best effort and remember, we learn best from our mistakes. For answers, follow the link on the screen or in the video description or you can check the end of the video for a complete list of answers. Chapter 1, Challenge 1 If I'd met three lemons named Todd, and they each had four lemon friends named Todd, how many lemons were named Todd in total? Remember to pause the video if you need some more time to think. Chapter 1, Challenge 2 If three lemons grew on my lemon tree each day, but then I picked one each day, how many lemons would be on my tree after 33 days? Chapter 1, Challenge 3 If lemons named Todd cost $3.33 a pound, how many full pounds of lemons could you buy with $567? How much change would you get? Chapter 2 <laughs> The facts will they hit me like rocks on my head. Number thieves in my bathroom? The thought filled me with dread. Now who is the number thief is something you'll ask. I'll now try to tell you it's a not so fun task. Number thief was a dude who was really uncool, who tried to steal numbers from my home and my school. My homework and classwork always looked bad every time he showed up. It made me feel sad. And the last time I saw him, the last he'd been seen, he'd mentioned three times he couldn't help being mean, and he promised to get me when I was bathing alone, while warm in tub water there'd be no one else home. And that time was right now, it hit me like bricks. Number thief was here with me, sure as three times two equals six. And now it's time for some math challenges. Remember to pause the video if you need some extra time to think. Chapter two, challenge one. If Number Thief came to steal numbers from my home three times a day for a week, how many times had he come to my home to steal numbers? Chapter 2, Challenge 2 If Number Thief had 1,254 green hairs on each of his three green arms, how many green arm hairs did he have in total? Chapter 2, Challenge 3 if Number Thief came to my home 33 more than double the number of days in a year, how many times had he visited my home in total? Chapter 3 You see, my parents had gone out. They'd gone to the mall to buy some new bats, new gloves, and a ball. They'd taken my sister, my fish, Sir Green Guppy. They'd taken my snake, and they'd taken my puppy which meant I'd been alone the past hour and quarter. No worries, just floating in warm soapy bath water. I was really pruned up, I was really real wrinkly. My thumb was all shriveled like the size of my pinky. Then a face filled my mirror, I was shaking with fear. The face of the thief, I couldn't believe he was here. My heart leapt a leap, I screamed no, not again. 
I screamed 30 times, like a three times a 10. I dashed from my bath and threw on my clothes and ran from my homework to homework thief goes. He'd steal my math numbers, he'd snatch them away. And math without numbers would cause math dismay. I had to go get there before he could steal them. My numbers from homework, he was trying to peel them. Steal from the notebook where I'd worked so, so long. Solving math problems as he sang a math song. Multiples of three is what he was singing. Multiples of three, his three arms were swing swinging. Multiples of three? I felt some math fear. Did I know my three's math facts? They didn't seem very near. To the front of my brain or to the tip of my tongue, if threes were a ladder, they'd be the top rung. I looked at the thief in multiple heaven. He yelled three times nine, which makes 27. Now it's time for some math challenges. Chapter three, challenge one. If number thief had nine fingers on each of his three hands, how many fingers did he have in total? Chapter 3, Challenge 2 If Number Thief's brother, the letter thief, peeked into my bathroom mirror 25 times, and Number Thief peeked into the mirror 5 less than 3 times as many, how many times had the Number Thief peeked into my mirror? Chapter 3, Challenge 3 Number Thief can walk 2 miles an hour, and his brother, the letter thief, can walk 1 mile an hour. The brothers' houses are 51 miles apart. If they both leave their houses at the same time and walk towards each other, how many miles would the number thief have walked before they meet? Chapter four. <laughs> the number thief saw me and he didn't look glad. I scanned his green face, he was really quite mad. I guess thief didn't like it when I came to protect my homework and numbers, I was a pain in thief's neck. Ow! Thief growled a number. He chimed nine with a hiss. He thought I forgot threes. Thief thought I might miss. He looked up at me and laughed loud as he grabbed a three from my notebook that made me feel bad. I reviewed my threes tables like peas come in cans. I vowed to save homework from Thief's greedy green hands. Then they came back, the whole threes tables list. I knew my threes tables. There's not one that I missed. I went back to nine, the one Thief said to me and it was ripe in my mind like sweet fruits on a tree. I stared down the thief, and thief stared back at me. Then I told thief that nine equals three times three. Thief wasn't happy. Thief was upset. Thief was perturbed, but things weren't done yet. You see, when thief played his math games, his arithmetic fun, something strange always happened by the time we were done. He'd shrink or he'd grow or get hot or get cold. When I got questions right, he might get young or grow old. But now when thief heard my answer, a strange thing did pass. He flipped upside down and started talking real fast. This time I realized when I got questions right, the thief would go hyper like mosquitoes at night. And now time for some chapter four math challenges. Chapter four, challenge one. If Thief got so hyper that he jumped up and down 11 times a minute for three minutes, how many times had he jumped up and down? Chapter four, challenge two. If there are 33 numbers on my page and it takes 11 minutes for Thief to eat three numbers, how many minutes would it take Thief to eat all my numbers? Chapter four, challenge three. Thief was getting so hyper that he yelled Yahoo lots of times. He yelled in the following pattern. One, one, two, four, seven, 11, 16. What number do you think would come next in the pattern? Chapter five. <laughs> Thief cried 18 quick, like a cheetah can run. I flashed him a smile, multiplication so fun. I told him his questions, his number thief tricks were easy like 18 is three times six. The thief got much faster like a turbocharged car, like a bird soars the sky, like a bright shooting star. Thief got so hyper, he spun all around. His voice sounded shrill. What's 11, he frowned. Now 11 was tricky, no multiple of three. What was it that thief wanted from me? Maybe the product is what Green Thief required. The poor little Green Thief was sure gonna get tired. I answered real slowly, not fast like the thief. The answer is so easy, it's just a relief. Elevens are easy, repeat the number you see. So the product you asked for is just 33. When Thief heard my answer, the thief looked perturbed, like a baby who's sleeping and just been disturbed. 
Thief became faster like a fast flying bee. His voice was as high as a tall redwood tree. He squeaked when he spoke, and he squeaked twenty-one. I like these three's facts, these three's tables were fun. I spoke even slower as I attempted to tease. I knew my three's tables. I could do threes with ease. I said twenty-one's never three times eleven. I said twenty-one's always three times seven. Now it's time for some math challenges. Chapter 5, Challenge 1. If the number thief had three pet octopuses, how many legs or tentacles would the three octopuses have in total? Chapter 5, Challenge 2. Thief became even more hyper when he figured out that half of a number plus three was equal to 13. What was the number? Chapter 5, Challenge 3. Thief was so hyper that he decided to find all the multiples of three that exist. Here are clues to the only one he couldn't find. Can you? It's a three digit number. It's greater than 500 and less than 1000. It's an odd number. It's a multiple of three. The sum of the tens and ones digit is equal to the hundreds digit. The sum of its three digits is 18. And its ones digit is three. Chapter 6 The thief got quite faster. He was moving quite quicker. Like a pitch by a pitcher. Like a firefly's flicker. My eyes couldn't see him like a fast bullet train. But I heard him say something and it was kind of a pain. 36 he yelled out. He screamed as he passed. I giggled and laughed. He was hyper and fast. Then I laughed out some more. 36 is no prob. Number thief bumped his head. He started to sob. I know my times tables like books go on shelves. I know 36 is three times 12. The thief was so hyper he bounced off our walls. He was spending more energy than it takes to light malls. In one last attempt to beat me at three, thief yelled 24. What's that if you please? I closed both my eyes as if to relax. No problems here. I knew my three's facts. 24 is your product? That product's so great. It can often be made with a three and an eight. Now it's time for some math challenges. Chapter six, challenge one. If Thief had 36 of my numbers, but lost three each month, how many months would it be before he had no numbers left? Chapter six, challenge two. If Thief moved 33 times as fast as a bullet train that travels 374 miles an hour, how fast did the Thief move? Chapter 6, Challenge 3 If I had 24 feet of fencing to make a rectangular pen for the Thief, once I caught him, what would be the lengths of the sides of the pen with the largest area? Chapter 7 <laughs> Thief lifted right off like a smooth rocket ship. He did wave to me once as he did a front flip. He flew out my front door. End of math game. Every time the thief played me, the results were the same. That meant my homework was safe. Only one three was eaten. The thief had been foiled. Number thief had been beaten. But then I heard the thief's voice from a place in deep space. He was orbiting Mars. A math frown on his face. I heard Thief scream five from the mid Milky Way. His question was easy like all the games he did play. I smiled a smile, although Thief wasn't seen. I answered his question. Three times five is 15. Now it's time for some math challenges. Chapter seven, challenge one. If it takes six months to travel to Mars and Thief makes three trips to Mars, how many months had Thief traveled for? Chapter 7, Challenge 2 If Thief traveled a hundred more than 36 times as far as my parents had driven to the mall, and my parents had driven 33 miles to the mall, how far had Thief traveled? Chapter 7, Challenge 3 If the diameter of Mars is 4,212 miles, and the diameter of Jupiter is 86,881 miles, Approximately how many times bigger is Jupiter than Mars? Chapter 8 <laughs> My parents came home from their trip to the mall. I told them what happened. They didn't believe it at all. They told me to tell them the honest whole truth, but I wasn't lying. They could hire a sleuth. Why couldn't my parents ever meet Thief? If they met him, they'd see him. It would be a relief. They would know that I'm honest. I didn't make the Thief up. 
they'd agree with me finally, they both have to say yo. But they wouldn't hear it. They put me to bed without any dinner, after which they both said, Kids that are liars don't ever get fed. Kids that are liars don't even get bread. I complained and I yelled. I gave them a poke. Then they said they were kidding, just playing a joke. But the joke was unfunny, so I slammed shut my door. I did it 12 times, just like three times before. Then I lay in my room, tears in my two eyes. What time is it now, I thought between sighs. I wiped off my cheeks and looked back at my clock. And what I saw in its face caused quite a shock. Some numbers were gone, they just disappeared. And when I saw which four numbers, it was just what I'd feared. I wasn't real sure how I'd ever tell time without the 12, the three, the six, or the nine. The end. Keep watching for a list of all the answers. <laughs>